Hi guys, okay, so I'm back with another unboxing video. Um, they seem to be going quite well, I think you guys like it. Um, it is something that I've started doing for a while, especially when I wasn't feeling great. So, as many of you know, I collect Funko Pops. I have quite a large collection now. It only started with a few of them, and then I pretty much fell in love with them. So, um, some I have got through mystery boxes and things like that, but a lot of them I have sort of got through getting them myself. And uh, like I've mentioned before, on the raffle page, I recently won a six inch Ludo figurine and I love him. It's one of my favorite and there's only a few more left on the Labyrinth set for me to get to complete it. So that's happening. <laughs> So yes, I was sort of perusing the world of the internet and I stumbled across a box called the Marvel Collector's Core Box. Now this box is incredible. Um, so basically Marvel teamed up with Funko Pops and well Funko Vinyl whichever and they have created a box that every month is a different Marvel theme. So. I pretty much geeked out and got super excited about it um, and every month the theme changes so last month the theme was Spider-Man um, but I wasn't really filming at that point uh, when I received it however now that I've started doing it this month's one I say this month's one of the important things with it is it doesn't arrive every single month like some like the geek boxes and loot crate and things like that it's every other month and I can't really remember the price on it right now but it isn't very much I think it's about 15 17 pound if here um, I believe you can get it in America and places like that there's so many more like DC there's a DC box you can also get but it's the same one but you can't get that in England so for the moment I clicked the Marvel one which to be fair I generally in terms of comic books and things like that I prefer DC more because I collect like the Harlequin ones and things like that um, but in terms of the films and other things like that then generally I'll go more towards Marvel side I prefer Marvel films to DC films even though the main ones that I love like Batman Wonder Woman all them they are DC characters so just to confuse your brain there but like I say, it's every other month, so you get in here, everything is an officially licensed Funko item. But the exciting part is that the pop that you get in this box, you cannot get in stores anywhere. It's a limited edition item. So, I've rambled on enough now. Let's open it up. So, this month's box, I haven't even told you that yet, and if you can't tell, is Doctor Strange, which I'm super excited about. I haven't really read any Doctor Strange comics but I can see it's going to be one that I love. Um, I've read good things about it so far, so we are going to be seeing that soon. So, when you first open up your Marvel Collector's Core every month, you receive a badge and a pin. So, the patch uh, this month, which again, I am going to be getting a blanket because I plan on covering them all with these, is a nice little Doctor Strange patch which is pretty cool and the pin is I believe it's the Akamoto stone is it the Akamoto stone it's something along those lines I've sort of read up a bit to try and get the grasp of what the story is um, but they're really nice pins and they're like they're not cheaply made they're nice and thick so it looks like that so again, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with these. I'm thinking again with a spare room, some kind of bandana or something to place them on because I have a few of these now. Um, so, you open up the box and, oh, helpful, remove it so you can see the t-shirt already. But again, even like the inside of the box is all comic book print as well. So this is a little pamphlet explaining what's in there. So we might as well have a look first. So again, you get a limited edition Funko Pop exclusive top. So 
So this is the t-shirt. Love that. <laughs> That's cute. So it's Doctor Strange doing his magical hand thing because I know the premises of the story is that he was a really good surgeon and he has a massive car accident therefore can't use his hands anymore and he finds this magical leader who basically teaches him that actually he has these powers he just needs to connect with them so looking forward to that and I will probably wear that when I go see it. What the hell's up here with the gun? So yeah, looking forward to that. That's gonna happen. Why has it suddenly gone so dark? I hate this time of year. I need to put a light on. Wow, it's so much brighter now. It was really bright before. What the hell? There's something else I need to get towards my videos. Okay, so the next item that came in the box is <coughs> <coughs> don't film when you have a cold, it takes forever. The next item in the box is a Funko variant cover. Um, I love this. I believe this is based off like one of the original Doctor Strange covers, like the black light posters that came out but every month with the Funko box they basically do a variant edition the comic book itself will be the regular comic book print but the cover gets changed so I haven't actually unsealed any of these so far what are you doing? <laughs> um, but I love that and I love the colours on it it's so bright not that you can tell <laughs> um, super bright and I just think that's pretty cool to be honest. Um, might have to open this one so I can have a read and you know get to know it a bit. <laughs> so then once we've got through that the box then looks like this. So you normally get some kind of item, I think with the Spider-Man box I got a Spider-Man Funko flat top, flat cap, whatever you want, not flat cap, a cap, you know what I mean. So the next item is, I have a couple of these now, a uh, Doctor Strange Funko Pop houseware, so it is indeed Doctor Strange. So I have two or three of these, this will be like my third one, every time. I hate it. Oh my god. Awful. Um, I love that. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's his levitation cloak. I know that much. I claim not to know much, but actually I'm coming out with random facts that I didn't think I knew. So apparently I knew that subconsciously. Oh god. Um, so yeah, the thing with these mugs is apparently they don't do very well with heat. Um, they can't be microwaved, hand wash only, so don't put them in the dishwasher and just be careful how hot the item is that you put in. I, I haven't tried it with hot water. The other one that I've got is the Star Lord mug that I won on a raffle. Um, but I've only ever used it for cold stuff, so I don't know how well they hold up. Someone has asked me that, and I'm not sure myself yet, because I don't really, I'm definitely not testing it with this one. Uh, I love that, and it actually looks like Doctor Strange, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, so the final item in the box, which again, this is an exclusive item. You cannot get this unless you get the box, or you buy it from someone else after. So it is a Doctor Strange crystal one so he's basically I'm guessing it is while he's doing his magical what's the word god damn it so I'm guessing this is like oh here we go so there's Doctor Strange levitation and there's Doctor Strange astral I got levitation I believe that there's the two kinds you can get um, and yes, I am a Funko collector, but I do like to open them just to have a little look at them. 
Um, he is a bit adorable, and he, most of them are bobbleheads. Um, so he's all glittering that because he's doing his astral thing where he's going into other dimensions. Um, I love that, and it you can't see because the camera's there, but it does sort of look like it's raised and he is levitating whilst doing his thing. I love that. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, so in the Doctor Strange series, I'm not sure whether it's one I'm going to go out my way to get. The only one I probably would try and get is the original Doctor Strange to go alongside him. Um, if you know anything about it, you can get Cole Mordor, Ancient One. That's the one who trains him, Ancient One. Cannot say that. Kelsilius? We'll go with that. Um, there's a Doctor Strange spell one. There's also the Doctor Strange astral one, which looks pretty much like the standing up Doctor Strange one. Um, again, if I stumble across a normal Doctor Strange one, I would probably get it, but in terms of this one, I'm really happy. So, so let's have a read through the card and see what it says. So October 2016, you basically get a printout of the process of how they design it and how they pick the colours and things, which I think is quite a cool little touch, it's a little bit more information on it. Um, again with the t-shirt it says, this Doctor Strange pop tee features the Sorcerer Supreme himself ready to take down unfathomable, 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 we'll go with that. Uh, interdimensional dangers. What kind of a sentence is that? Um, so yeah, love that. I think I will be one of those kind of geeks that turns up to the film wearing the t-shirt. Um, I was right. The inspiration for this comic cover came from a vintage Marvel black light poster from the 1970s. I am a bigger geek than I thought because I don't know why my brain knows this stuff. Ah, that actually hurt. Um, again with the mug you get a print out of the process behind it and the badge is Doctor Strange makes an appearance on the patch as he shows off his metaphysical abilities um, and for the badge the pin has a unique design featuring the eye of Agamotto I was close, did I say Agamotto? I can't even remember at this point um, so yeah what ancient tome does seek? Tell us on Twitter for a chance to win a special prize. That's new, I didn't see that. And then, as you all have seen, as I've been holding this up, our next box features X Men. Pretty excited about that. I've got all the films. Again, I can't say I've read many. I can't say I've read many of the comics themselves, so I don't really know about them that well. But, again, excited so yes I this is one of my favorite boxes actually out of because I also get geek box compared to that I just love this and yes it's every other month but when it does arrive it is normally really cool um, so I'm absolutely in love with this box and I think he's super cute and I'm pretty happy with the mug too the only thing with these mugs is they're a little bit awkward because the lip is really thick <laughs> Um, I don't really know where to store them in my house yet. Um, grooming time in this house apparently. Everywhere I look an animal's cleaning itself. <laughs> but yeah, very happy with that. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you get this box yourself and how you feel about it. If you've seen Doctor Strange, what did you think about it? Don't give me too much away because I haven't seen it yet. but. Let me know what you thought about the film. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you don't want to miss any videos, when you click the subscribe button at the side of it, a little bell symbol will show. If you click that, it will basically notify you every time I upload a new video so you don't miss any. But that's everything for this week and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Told me it's okay to say what shit hurts. Don't forget your dreams, cause they'll get.